I'm standing in the damp grass in one section of my garden where you can see the hedges and the green and it's just about dawn I can see a red glow beyond me and of course it is Easter morning I'm still wearing black because first of all in my teaching is I used to wear black because it doesn't show chalk marks and uh, but also because when the two Marys went to the tomb early in the morning the spices to embalm Jesus they had no idea that Jesus was risen from the dead and so they walked gingerly frightened and then as they approached the garden where the tomb was they must have been very quiet because there were Roman guards on duty, it was supposed to be, and then what they faced was unimaginable. The stone was gone and there was no one guarding the tomb and they must have been so confused in their thinking. What have you done with my master? Tell me where you've laid him. And they must have been in horror. But then this gardener appears, not a guard, but a gardener. And he says simply the word Mary. And recognition sweeps in on Mary's heart and soul and she knows this is her Lord risen from the dead alive and it's the beginning of a new beginning a new life a new opportunity a new hope but she doesn't know that yet she only knows her master is alive and she doesn't touch don't touch me yet because I've not ascended to my father and your father. But go tell the disciples. And so Mary becomes this first evangelist and running, tripping, coming back to where the disciples are and knocking on the door. She says, disciples, brothers, Jesus is alive. Hallelujah, I've seen him. And so the Easter story continues with, with John and Peter running to the tomb. My name's John and I've always been excited about the fact that John was the first one to get it to the tomb. And my brother Peter, he was the first one to go in. And as a child I always thought, oh, if only I'd been that little bit bolder and gone into the tomb first as my brother because my brother's name was Peter and I was John, named after the disciples. But this is the glory of the Easter story, that when you read the Gospel accounts, there's a certain amount of confusion or inspiration where they can't quite remember the order of everything that happened, but the Marys, the women, arrived at the empty tomb and the women became the kingdom's first evangelists. And Jesus truly is. He's alive. Hallelujah. He has risen from the dead. This is John Ruffle wishing you all a very blessed and happy and joy-filled Easter because we have been made in Christ Jesus overcomers in this life. God bless you. Jesus truly is Lord.